he should be the favorite because if you look at the way that Dak Prescott utilized all of his weapons yesterday, it was an absolute master class. Hold on one second. Let me see. Oh, Danny would get up. up like that. Get up. He unbuttoned his shirt. Oh, that, here, here you're going to see Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb with the inside move. He gets to the post corner. Look at the placement of this football and all go special. Rex knows every game you have to have a plan for how you're going to play this at too high or single. Dak finds Jake Ferguson. He stretches the field and finishes physically. <laughs> Look at Brandon Cooks being used for the reason they brought him there, hey, which was to stretch hey. the field. And here's having confidence in your quarterback. It's the fourth quarter. You can just salt the ball away. You can punt it away. They said, no, Dak, go out and make a play. He saw the one-on-one, -on -one yeah. and he went to Michael Gallup. Dak Prescott is playing with such an extreme level of confidence, it's actually bordering on arrogance. It's where we used to hear Aaron Rodgers mm. in post-game in post-game interviews or post-game press conferences where everyone was just, as Stephen A. would say, bloviating mm. <laughs> about what they'd accomplished, and then they could just look forward to the next game because they knew what they'd done. That's why Dak said, we got to run our race. We got to play the rest because this film is doing the talking. Well, that's really interesting to me. And actually, Rodgers, when his, was, he was here with, um, or maybe it was on McAfee two weeks ago, yeah. he was talking about the super high level that Dak Prescott is playing at, and not from a physical standpoint, but from control of the game, yeah. mastery, yeah. of the offense. So I told you there were three interesting things in the sound bites. Th that was the first one, was, was, you know, the thing about running the race. The next one is Demarcus Lawrence talking about punching him in the face, yeah. punching him in the face. It, I don't think that most people would have thought that the Cowboys would be the physical bludgeoning team in this matchup, but they were, right, on both sides of the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys, who I think we still have a tendency to think of as the, the, the Pretty um, boys. finesse yeah. team. Yeah. Absolutely. They were the physical team Oh, yesterday. you're exactly right. 100% right, Grady. And the thing that was interesting about uh, – I never thought anybody can use the, the, the F word more than, than I heard now. I mean, that was impressive, you know what I mean? Yeah. But Jonathan Allen's pretty said, good at it. Oh, yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> when when he said about, and and then w when they quit, yes. and then we're going to keep punching them. In other words, he's giving you a little thing that they did quit. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is interesting. And I'll say it. And look, they're going to remember it. Philly's going to remember it. But you know what? Dallas doesn't care. Mm. Dallas was like, we whipped you up front on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And I think that's what they're saying, because that great pass rush of Philly, non, almost non-existent. Rex, I mean, really all, the, all the teams you were on, Rex, were bully sort of teams. All Absolutely. the teams you coach, physicality. When your teams got punched in the mouth, what was your message to them to get back on track and remember who you are? Because that's what Nick Sirianni is going to yeah. have to get across to the Eagles. Well, and that's the whole thing, because, you know, as, as a guy that we're, we're not used to getting knocked out. Well, they got knocked out. So yeah. now you got to come back and say, OK, all right, we're going to show you again, like, oh, no, this ain't going to happen again. And I promise you, they're going to use it as a rallying cry because, you know what, we're going to, you know what, and bury the damn ball if you need to to sit back and say, we're going to play him again. Yeah. In five weeks, we're going to play him again. That's the, that's the other you thing, know? though, too, Greeny. Like, sometimes, like, here is where I feel like coaches can help you. We would be in football games with Coach LeBeau, and we would feel like we were playing soft. We'd play a lot of cover three, which is a zone, right. a single high zone, or we'd be in cover six, and Troy would walk up to him and be like, Coach, let us go. Like, let us attack. Mm. Sometimes, as the coach, you have to change your mindset, and you have to change the way you call the game schematically, so it, so it puts an attitude of physicality, an attitude of aggression, an attitude of attacking into your team. And when Rex mentions Sean Desai, the defensive coordinator, consistently being in the same call, not only are they consistently in the same call, but the call is soft. Yeah. Right. So inherently, you are putting your guys on their heels. They're never in attack mode. On offense, when you run the ball, they start that physicality. Lane, and so I think they need to change the way they approach the game. I, I'm going to tell you how I did it, all right? Once that happened, we're going to sit back and say offensively, all right, four or more, run it again. Because yeah. I, I, every offensive lineman, let's run the ball. Let's run the ball. But you give me four yards, we'll run it again. Not even I don't even four. care what the down and distance. Yes. So we got four yards, run it again. Four, run it again. And if you go back to looking at some of the games that I coach, believe me, you're like, what the hell? It's, it's third and 15. Yeah, well, we got four yards because we were backed up. We're third and we're 20. Running the thing again. <laughs> and but it sends a mentality. It does, man. And if you're that tough, look, this guy's a tough guy. I like him, the Sirianni guy. I think yeah. he's a tough guy. He's it's really good, good. Philly's a tough-ass town. Yep. They got embarrassed. 
All right? Philly is not happy now. Run the dang ball. Agreed. And, and you, you got teams. Last year, we know the Giants can't stop the, uh, the RPO game and, and all that kind of stuff. Is Jalen Hurts healthy or not? Yep. If he is, let's run him 20 times a game. Right, we'll see. They get the Giants twice. You see on your screen there, the Eagles have a markedly easier schedule yep. the rest of them than yeah. the Cowboys do. So despite Dallas's big win yesterday, I, I would still say there's a real chance that it's the Eagles that wind up winning hey, that Green, division. You know what's and so that's crazy? Critical. Yeah. With, with all that Dallas proved this week, they're about to go on a stretch similar to what the Eagles were on oh, right. coming into this game. Right. So they could prove a lot as well on the road at Buffalo and on the road at Miami. Yeah, that could work both ways. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That could turn out to be a really good thing. It could turn out to be a really bad thing. 